head of book eyes. And do you know where the American Midwest is? Today, I'm with my friend Terry, who is from America. Hello, Terry. Hello. Hi. So, Terry, you'll speak not too quickly because sometimes oh, it's difficult for us to understand the American accent. <laughs> <laughs> I will speak slowly and okay, just but not not too slowly, not too yeah. slowly. <laughs> so, Terry, where where are you from? I am from the state of Ohio, which is part of what we call the Midwest. <laughs> When America was young, it was in the middle of the Western part of America. But then uh, America grew and we're no longer in the middle of the West, but we're still called the Midwest. Okay, so I have a, a map here and so I can show people. This is the US, I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see that. And so Terry, you're in Ohio up here. Right. So effectively, it, it's not the West. <laughs> no, it is not. But it used to be. When America stopped at the Mississippi River, before we bought the Louisiana Purchase from France, it was in the middle of the West. And the name stuck. And so that's what we're still called. Okay. And have you lived there for a long time? My whole life, except for when I was in college and when I visited France, but I have lived, I've always lived in Ohio. Yeah, because I know you like coming to France because that's where yeah. we met a few years ago. That's right. I love visiting France. <laughs> so I think Ohio is a place that, I mean, I don't know a lot about. I know I've been through Ohio because quite mm. a while ago I traveled with my sister on the Greyhound buses in America. And we went to the Niagara Falls mm -hmm. and then we traveled across to Chicago. So I think we went through Ohio, is that right? That is right. You would have traveled across the Northern part of Ohio on our, on our uh, main highway, the uh, Ohio Turnpike. Okay, so what, what are some of the main towns in Ohio, the, in Ohio we, may have, uh, <laughs> we may have heard of? Well, there are three main towns. There's Cleveland in the northeast corner, Columbus, which is in the center of the state and is the capital of the state, okay. and Cincinnati, which is in the far southwest corner of the state. Okay. Cleveland is famous for a lot of things, but maybe you're, you have heard of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ah, uh, yes. That yeah, is in that. Cleveland, yes. And that is a very large building. And once a year, they, they add new special music groups to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. Do you Since know why it's in Cleveland? Do I you know don't. Why? No. I don't know why they put it there, but that it's always been there. And I'd, I'll okay. have to look that up. I'd like to know why they chose Cleveland for that. Cleveland is along Lake Erie. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Lots of things to do. There's a football team and a baseball team and an incredible art museum and a theater district where you can see plays and symphonies and it, there's just a lot to do in Cleveland. A lot going on. Now I, I, it's coming back to me, did, did you say that there was a, a, um, a film made in Cleveland? No that's Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> the film The Mighty that maybe some of your viewers have seen took place in Cincinnati along the Ohio River and as you watch it, you can see a lot of the skylights. Cincinnati has a football team and a baseball team and restaurants and art museums. And it's a beautiful city too. It's fun to visit. And I live in Columbus, which is the center and it's the capital. 
So we have all of the politics going on here, but we also have a beautiful art museum. We have theaters, we have Broadway shows come to Columbus, oh. uh, movies, parks. There are thousands and thousands of acres of parks where you can walk, take bike rides, take your dogs, take your kids. Um, it, it's just, it really is a nice place to live. Um, so what, what's it actually like in Ohio? Um, I mean, I remember it being very flat, but I've obviously only driven through part of Ohio. The, the top half, the northern half of Ohio is very, very flat. It, it, this is from the ice age, the last ice age millennia ago, where the glaciers came through and flattened everything. And then they stopped about halfway through Ohio. So you get to a point where it all of a sudden you go from perfectly flat to a mountain and the okay. hills are up and down and the Appalachian Mountains in the southeast part of the state. And so you come to Ohio, you can see very, very flat, which makes it easy to ride bicycles or you can go <laughs> down into the mountains where you can hike up in the mountains. And we have lots of state parks that are preserved just for nature and just for people to, to go and enjoy the outdoors. So perhaps it's quite peaceful up there because well, maybe it's popular and well known in the States, but I've heard of the Appal Appalachian, I would say, mountains. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the difference. Different way of saying. Yeah, exactly. Yes. But um, yeah, I would never have thought of going there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you like nature, you like the outdoors, the Southeast part of Ohio is just absolutely beautiful and not very many people go there. So you, if you like to be peaceful and being by yourself, then that's a good place to go. And there are places you can stay. There are state parks that have cabins that you can rent and spend a week or two just hiking and looking outside. Very peaceful. And what would be the best time of year to go? It depends on what you like. Not the uh, snow for me. <laughs> not the <laughs> snow, then don't come in the winter because we have <laughs> snow and cold and ice through the winter. The spring is beautiful, but sometimes it rains and sometimes it's warm and sometimes it's chilly. You don't know what you're gonna get. Summer is very warm and humid and there are a lot of bugs in the summertime, Whoa, but it's what warm. Bugs? What are bugs? bugs. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Ah, and insects. Insects, yes, insects. <laughs> <laughs> and they will bite you and flies <laughs> that will bite you. Uh, and the fall is lovely because then you get the, the changing leaves and, and it's, it's cool or warm. And you, you just, it depends on what you like because there's, we have all four seasons very distinctive so that whichever one you like, that's what you pick. And, and certainly the fall, the fall for an English person like me would be the, the autumn. The autumn, exactly. Uh, I love the American words because it's like the tr the leaves falling off the trees. Exactly, yeah. exactly <laughs> where that came from. Yeah. Okay. So if we come and see you, Terry, <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> And what are you going to give us to eat? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know, I know I'm asking you because I'd like you to tell us about Buckeyes because when you came and see, when you came to see me here in France, you brought us some Buckeyes. That's what true. <laughs> Ohio is called the Buckeye State. That is our nickname. And a Buckeye is a tree and it's in the chestnut family. And okay. it grows a nut that is inedible. And it's you can't poison. eat it. It's poison. You can't eat the buckeyes. The animals eat the buckeyes, but 
humans can't. Okay. And they're about they're about this big and they're brown, oh. but they have a small circle that's tan, a light brown. Like a and sort it, of beige color. Yes. And yeah. it looks like the eye of a male deer. Which okay, is called, yes, because when you said a buck first to me, I thought of an animal. Right, and yeah. that's what a buck is. Mm -hmm. The nuts on the tree look like the eye of a buck. Okay. And that's why they're called buckeyes. Now, I think we have something similar in the UK and here in Europe called a horse chestnut tree, but... The fruit is the same. It looks similar. We call it a conker because I know some of the children, um, they like <laughs> putting these on, on strings and fighting with them, yeah? But the conker <laughs> is, is actually in like um, um, a green case with spines on it, with spikes on it, mm -hmm. yeah? But they don't fight with those. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That would be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, they might. <laughs> but usually they pick up the, the brown, the hard fruit, like you were talking about, once it's mm -hmm. come out of its shell, as we would right. say. Yeah. Right. So you don't fight with them in the States. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know of that, but maybe. <laughs> but one thing we do have here at Christmas time, we make a candy that looks like a buckeye and we call them buckeyes okay. and they are delicious so a they candy are... that's another word which i don't understand <laughs> candy it's what a word sweet do you for use? me a sweet sweet yeah. okay well we <laughs> use the word sweets but more often we use the word candy yeah which yeah. Is if, if we talk about candy in england I think we might think of, you know, the candy canes that you put on Christmas oh. trees. Yeah. Do you know that those are made in Ohio? Oh, really? No, I didn't. They are. Up I in the no northwest idea. corner in a tiny little town, they make, what, candy canes or walking sticks. Yeah, walking sticks. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Okay. But but candy is becoming the international word. I know a lot of people at school here in France, they learn candy rather than sweets. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's good That's... to be able to understand both. <laughs> it is good. It is. And the times we've been together, we've explored all those words that are different in yeah. England and in America. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> It's but when a, I visited you, I brought you some homemade, homemade Buckeyes. Yeah, because you can are, keep them for a long time, can't you? You can, you can. And I, you can also buy them. There, There's a factory in Columbus near where I live that makes Buckeyes. It's a lot easier to transport them in a suitcase than to make your own. I loved your Buckeyes. Those are pretty special. You can get them in a lot of different places, but because Ohio is the Buckeye state, then they're kind of common around here. So time is flying, Terry. Time flies. Yeah. It always does when it we get It always does. Yeah. Is there any anything, any other specialities that you think people should know from Ohio? Well, one of the things that we have, it's a very agricultural state. We have the big three big cities and we have some other big cities, but it's a lot of agriculture. We grow tomatoes. Ah, tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> we grow tomatoes. sweet sweet corn, sweet corn, which okay. is it's a specialty kind of corn. It's not what they feed the, the cattle and the pigs, but this is very, very sweet and it's a it's something we all love in the summertime. Yeah, we like that too. It's delicious. It's delicious. So that and and cheese. We put cheese on everything because there's cheese? so many. There's no. so many cattle. Amer farms. Americans don't have cheese. You can't say that to. I have a lot of French people listening, Terry. 
Well, there is some pretty disgusting cheese in America, but there's also some good cheese in America. And we, we try, we make it, if you make it and it's here and it's close and it tastes pretty good. Yeah, local cheese, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> So okay. those are those are what we do. Okay, right. Well, perhaps we'll come and visit sometime. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> okay, right. I think time has flown. It has. It has. So this it's just been fun. It's been lovely chatting to you and comparing our accents a little bit too as we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. And this will, will give your, your students a, a challenge to understand the American accent. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for taking the time to chat with You're us welcome. today. You're welcome. It was and fun. Take care of yourself and speak to you sometime soon. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.